Learning to type in Greek and Hebrew is a pretty important skill, both for completing assignments at the seminary and language classes, but also just for using Logos to the best uh, of its ability. So this screencast is going to show you very quickly how to set up Hebrew Unicode on Windows. Uh, the first thing to do is to download the appropriate files. The second thing is to set up the actual Hebrew keyboard. And then the third thing is to actually type and learn how to do that. So first we'll download the appropriate files. The keyboard I'm going to recommend is produced by uh, SIL. It's hosted at the SBL font site. Uh, the SBL fonts, the Society of Biblical Literature fonts, are good fonts. It's a good keyboard, and I think it's a great way to get started. So the easiest way to get there is to Google SBL Biblical Fonts. And then you'll notice that one of the first hits is going to be the SBL font site. Go to the Hebrew link, SBL Hebrew font. And you'll notice that uh, there's uh, two or three different files to download according to Windows or uh, uh, Mac. And then there's two layouts, the SIL layout and the Tiro layout. The layout that you want to download is the SIL layout. It's a phonetic keyboard. It works better, I think, for those who are learning biblical languages. Uh, and it's a little less quirky, in my opinion. So what you'll need to do is to click and download the driver and then open it up and install it by running the setup file. And then you'll need to make sure that you also download the driver manual uh, because that will have the uh, keyboards, uh, the keyboard maps for you. That'll be helpful when we actually start learning to type. The next step in uh, typing in Biblical Hebrew is to actually tell Windows that you want to add the Hebrew keyboard. Uh, it's a software interface that uh, takes the English keyboard that you have and translates that into the Hebrew characters. So open up your control panel and then go to uh, Clock, Language, and Region to Change Input Methods. You'll notice that the, the default is to have only English. We want to add a language, we want to add Hebrew, and then we want to add the particular keyboard to it. So open up the Add a Language um, uh, link, and then scroll down to Hebrew. Click on that, and add it. And what you'll notice now is that Hebrew is added. But this is not the particular keyboard that we want to use. So we need to go to the Options, and then we need to add an input method. And what you'll see here are the different ones that Windows has available to us. Because we installed the uh, SIL keyboard through the file we downloaded from the Society of Biblical Literature website, you'll now see this particular keyboard available to you, the Biblical Hebrew SIL. So click that, click Add, and then you'll notice now that we have that listed as an input method. I would encourage you to go ahead and delete the Hebrew standard method. That's for uh, modern Hebrew. It's not what's appropriate for Biblical Hebrew. So remove that so that you won't have any confusion. The only Hebrew keyboard you'll have is the SIL Hebrew uh, keyboard. Be sure to click Save, and now you'll notice that you have English and Hebrew available for typing purposes. Obviously, the next step now is to actually type in Hebrew. The very important file that we downloaded was the manual. Now, when you open that, what you'll notice is that it has font maps available to you. Um, it has, of course, a technical description of the font and all the Unicode specifications, but the most important thing for us are the keyboard maps. I would encourage you to print those out and have those available to you beside your computer as you are uh, typing Hebrew, at least until you learn the system. What you'll see is that the, uh, the keyboard maps show you which characters are going to be produced by which keystrokes. And you'll notice as well that you can use your shift key. You can, for example, most of the Hebrew vowels are obtained by using the shift key plus another uh, 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 key. So be sure to have these available to you. Uh, but then once you are um, uh, ready to actually type, uh, you can simply go to a file or a notepad or any Unicode capable text editor uh, and start typing. Now, there's a couple of things that you'll need to do first. First thing that you need to do is format your font. Um, when you go to your font selection, pick SBL Hebrew. That was installed uh, when you ran the installer file. I've made it rather large so that you can see it on this screencast. But make sure that you select that particular font. And then you also have to tell the computer that you want to type in Hebrew. The way that's done in Windows is by going down to the language bar and then choosing Hebrew. So you'll notice now that I can type in Hebrew very easily. For example, if I wanted to type the word Ahav, I can now do that by referring to the keyboard map and using the appropriate um, keystrokes. When I'm done, 
I can simply go back to my language bar and go back to English. And then when I type, now it will um, be in English characters. It's a little bit of a technical process to get set up, but once you get it set up, you don't ever have to set it up again. And then it's a simply a matter of practice and getting better at typing in the Hebrew language.